Hey everyone, this is Run They Got Guns. Today is May 9th, 2017. This is going to be a War Friends episode, and I believe this is now episode 53. Um, it seems that they did the update, so uh, fingers crossed. I'm going to go ahead and you know log on to the game and see what's changed. Uh, just due to a couple of leaks, we know that the home screen has been streamlined and that's changed. But uh, other than that, I'm going to go in and see what the changes are. Um, from my squad mates, I heard that they did open the game and then they closed it again for another mainder, main, uh, server maintenance. Uh, so hopefully now I'm going to be able to get in because I tried to get in earlier and it wouldn't let me, but let's see if it does this time. Uh, and I noticed that my channel lost some subscribers. Um, I don't know what to tell you guys. Like I said, you know, uh, well, I mean, especially not, I can't really talk to the subscribers that left. But, um, you know, as I said, I, uh, you know, the video, last video that I did wasn't, you know, going to be positive or, and it, we're, honestly, I don't believe that it was negative either. You know, it was just basically my opinion and, um, connecting to Google, what the hell? More friends. Okay, awesome. Welcome, Run They Got Guns. Alright, so it looks like it's uh, streamlined pretty cool here. You can click on the daily assignments right here from this. I need to play six more silver cards, finish Warpath, and kill destroy 117 units using the SMG. Alright, so first things first, let me go over here. And what is it? I can withdraw. No, I have to donate a card. So let me go ahead and donate a card. And let me go ahead and switch my weapon. Skirmish. Heroic Warpath completed. What do you mean completed? I haven't completed it. That's weird. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and switch my weapon out, and I'm going to go in again to a live battle. I need to kill 117 units using an SMG, and the best SMG I have is my Piranha. I'm going to equip it with that. So this is a perfect test to see if they got rid of the, um, what's it called, what should we call it, the, uh, the glitch where uh, basically the system matches you up to the same um, to the same primary weapon. I don't use it, but uh, you know a lot of people do. So, undercover mole. All right, let's see what kind of primary weapon undercover mole has. He has a bull pup. Nope, they still haven't gotten rid of that glitch. That's for sure. Or gl well, not glitch, but whatever you want to call it. But uh, it seems like. My units are doing pretty good. Actually, wow. He only has two units stronger than me, and all of his weapons are weaker than mine. And I'm almost positive that Undercover Mole is a bot, so... Wow. I'll just say that. <clears throat> Alright, he is at shield position 3, and I am also at shield position 3. Oh, wow, that looks weird. Go ahead and steal some ammo. Let's see how many shots of with my piranha it's gonna take to kill this. There we go. Get my explosive pistol on, and I'll just save that. Wow. Couple of blasts with that, and then I'll kill him with my piranha to get some kills with the SMG. That's what I'll do. All right. 
wow, this is, uh, I don't know if I just played this really good or I don't know what, because this is ridiculous. I'm, I'm winning rather, uh, rather easily. Man, I miss my prawn. I wish it was stronger. But honestly, I mean, I just, I love the accuracy of uh, assault rifles, so can't really, can't really complain. Got to take the good with the bad, you know. Cool. Hopefully I got the last hit, so that'll count as a kill. Complete 10 Warpath missions. What? Very strange. I don't know. Uh, one of my squad mates is having a problem logging onto his account. Maybe, I don't know, there's some kind of a technical difficulty because I had deployed way more than 100 units as you can see up at the top deploy if I have deployed way more than a thousand units I've, I've deployed way more than 10,000 I'm sure all right okay so that oh cool four squad points that's pretty awesome I'm gonna go ahead and I already rated it anyway Let's go ahead and see where would I look that up as far as leagues go. I guess right here. Click on this maybe. That's awesome. Cool. So click on the leagues. There's no information on the leagues. Oh, there it is. There's a question mark. Okay, so if you want question mark on the leagues, you have to go over to the top right-hand corner where the question mark is in gray. And seven wins, seven squad points per win in champion. Wow. Everything moved up. Bronze 2, Silver 3, Gold 4, Elite 5, Master 6, and Champion 7. Wow. That is killer. Alright, so it seems is that the, um, the glitch was not taken out as far as the primary weapon. Uh, the primary weapon, whatever you want to call it. Um, let me see here battle and upgrades. Let's see the weapons because somebody told me that the weapons were made at to exactly the same level So let's see here the max on the venom is 11 6 5 6 Max on the heartbreaker is 11 6 5 6 Max on the scorcher is 11 6 5 6 Max on the black hand is 5,392. Headhunter is 5,392. Shot damage is 680 on the headhunter. Shot damage on the black hand is 334, which I'm pretty sure is the same as far as the shot damage goes anyway. I believe they gave you more ammo to start with on the on the uh, black hand I don't remember but like I said it's been a long time since uh, I've checked um, let's see here what else what else what else I don't know what this skirmish thing is I'm not even going to click on that because a couple of my squad mates had problems with that uh, so basically they streamlined the uh, the home screen people asking me all right um, I don't know. Uh, it seems as though they uh, evened out the uh, primary weapons. Let me go ahead and check, actually, as far as... Uh, oh, all right. Let me get some question. 155 on the shot damage for a level 1 Venom. 109 shot damage on the Heartbreaker. And 233 shot damage on the Scorcher, which I think is still the same. That's, uh, like I said, I don't really know. I haven't checked out the statistics simply because I'm going to stick with my Horde and I'm just maxing it out at the moment. But, um, yeah, overall, I really can't see too much difference besides giving us more squad points. I believe that the cost of everything is still the same. $52.99, $49.99, and this one was like $54 or something like that. The Scorcher, oh, $59.99, I'm sorry. All right, well, I mean, it seems besides the um, the home screen uh, being more streamlined, whatever this skirmish is, but I'm not going to click it simply because um, a couple of my squad mates clicked it and they said that it took 50 gold from them or something like that, so I'm not even going to touch that. 
Uh, what am I doing here? What am I doing? What was I looking for? Oh, yeah, see how we're doing in Squad War. In Squad War, <clears throat> I get 100 gold. We're still number one. Death Blue number three. Iceman number two. All right, well, uh, they did an update. I don't know if they watched my, my video. I don't know if, they, if they're if they one of the unsubscribers. But, hey, you know, they, uh, they came out with the update, and we'll just see where it goes from there. I'm going to go ahead and play a little bit more, and I'll do another video, see if I find anything else that's new. I'll go ahead and talk to you guys later. Okay, stay calm and war on.